Hey everyone, Cody here. And today we're going to try to do a damaged painting with acrylic paint. And we're gonna be using pouring medium. Um, I didn't think I had any, and actually I didn't, uh, but my wife did because she, I forgot that she had tried to do uh, some poured paintings a while back. She never did it again after she did a couple of them. And uh, someone actually in a comment video of one of my other uh, videos, so shout out to you, whoever you are, I forgot your name, I apologize. Uh, but someone had suggested that I try the acrylic uh, pouring medium, or the pouring medium with the acrylic paint. And just as a heads up, if, if you're watching this and you were the one that suggested it, um, and you want, you know, maybe like recognition or something, just let me know. Leave a comment on this video. I'll go back. If it's the same person, then I can pin the comment. You know, you can link to something or whatever. I just want to give you credit. Anyway, I, uh, I thought it was kind of an interesting suggestion because like I, I had talked about in my previous videos that when you're trying to do these dab paintings, the acrylic is too thick to do them uh, by themselves. When I tried to do it, it just stippled the paint in, in place, but it didn't actually, um, didn't actually move it. It just kind of stayed there. And I don't know if you can see these cups or not. Let me see. Ah, uh, you can. Maybe I'll put them over here. That's a little easier for you. Let's see, can you guys see that? Okay, that's good enough. All right, so I talked about the acrylic being thicker than gloss enamel because gloss enamel is liquid because, I mean, it's house paint, so it's, it's liquid, so you can hear it. But obviously this is a lot thicker, and if you try to dilute this with water, then it just gets too thin. So someone suggested pouring medium, and I thought that was an interesting idea, so that's what we're going to do. Now, I don't actually know how much of this I'm supposed to add, so I'm thinking... We'll just kind of go uh, by look, and what I'll try to do is I'm actually going to crack open some of the gloss enamel so that I can see uh, what it looks like, so that I can try to maybe match the consistency. Now I'm thinking it'll probably be something like one in one, like a one to one ratio, but uh, we'll see. So let me grab a stick, and I keep forgetting. I keep forgetting to clean up my things here. So this is the this is the gloss enamel. You can see how thin it is, uh, but obviously acrylic is not that thin. So we're gonna add the acrylic. And I don't actually know how much I need. <laughs> Looks kind of funny. All right. So then we'll add the pouring medium. And I, again, I don't know how much I actually need, but let's see if that makes it. Okay, it's still thick. So I'll try to make it like a one to one ratio maybe, I don't know. So let's well it's thinner but it's still pretty thick. Maybe I should have used less paint, I don't know. Well, it's starting to move. It's still really thick though. And you have to use quite a bit of this stuff, huh? But I can see why people use this pouring medium because by now if I had just used water it would have pulled those pigments apart. So there we go. Wow, that's a really nice consistency actually. I'm not going to lie. Hey, props to you for shouting that out. Alright, so let's see if we can kind of match it with these other colors here. So we'll do black. Get in there. And we'll do a little bit more. That's 
basket. And then we'll do this gold, which this already came in one of these little fancy squirting containers. And we'll do a little bit more. All right. And then we'll do this stuff right here. I had a decent amount. It seems like you had to add quite a bit. So we'll mix them up and see if we can get a good consistency. So that's pretty crazy. I mean, uh, the, the color is still pretty solid. I, I thought that you would lose that color by adding this stuff, but honestly, it's, it's, it's still there. So that's, that's pretty cool. I've never really used pouring medium. Again, my wife had it, um, and I think she used it like once or twice, but, uh, Man, that's, that stuff really thins it out and makes it move. So I better add some more to that one. Let's mix up the, uh, mix up this gold here and see, see what it looks like. So you can kind of see it. I don't know if you can see it, but it's, it's kind of interesting to see it go from like white to the color that it was before. Oh, get out of here, bug. All right, so, there we go. You see that movement there? That's pretty good, man, I'm not gonna lie. No, bug, get out of here. I think that bug's gonna end up in the painting. All right, so, we've got movement. I like it, I'm gonna leave it there. Let's, uh, let's get this black mixed in and we'll go ahead and give it a try. It actually like gives it more of a shine. That's pretty, uh, that's pretty cool. All right, and I think we'll give it another 10, 15 seconds of stirring just to make sure it's all good and There we go. Look at that movement. That's crazy. That is pretty cray. All right. Cool. Well, that uh, that looks better than I expected. Not gonna lie. Had no idea. Okay. Cool. So we've got that. So now we need our plastic to do the actual painting. Uh, <clears throat> I'm just gonna use some plastic wrap or pallet jack wrap. You can get it most Home Depot or home improvement stores, shipping stores, moving stores. I think that was actually from Home Depot. Oh, you know what? I wasn't going to do a stippled one. I was going to do a dabbed painting. So, let's see. A small piece of plastic. I've got a decent size one, but the problem is, is the painting isn't very big, so I don't want to use a piece of plastic that's very big. Uh, I've got one here. It's about this size, so I'll just use that. Okay, well, here we go. All right, so first let's put our paint onto the painting. We'll do one there, one there, and we'll do one right there. We're gonna do some big ones. We'll do a little bit of kind of color throughout the painting just, just to kind of break it up. We'll do the gold. So I, I'm not gonna lie, I really like the, the acrylic gold. Um, when it comes to the paintings that I do for the gloss enamel, I don't really like the gold I've been using, the PBG metallics. So it may come down to me using, a, like if this works out and it looks pretty good, um, I may actually use acrylic gold just with this pouring medium if it, if it works out pretty well. So, just kind of 
put some color around. Oh, you can't smell it, but it smells really bad. <laughs> so much, uh, so much acrylic smell, I guess. I don't know how you would say it. Okay, well, here we go. All right, so we're gonna start with the lightest color. So we're actually gonna start with, we'll start with red. And we're just gonna kind of pat it out to get it to spread out, right? And we're gonna kind of go around and we're gonna pull it to the corners. We're gonna pull it to the areas where, uh, where the paper is. So we can kind of cover the paper. Just pull this out. And it's already starting to kind of pull some of the other colors. So we'll just kind of, I guess we'll just go ahead and continue with it. So we'll pull that out. There's this nice kind of pocket of red. I don't know if I want to mess with it though, just because I like having that. And we've pretty much covered all the, uh, the areas. And we've got a few areas that don't have some paint, so we'll just fill those in. I think we're good. We've got a little bit of little bit of area without some paint there. A little gap there. All right, and that's it. So we've got the whole thing covered. So put that in the water. Okay, now this paint might have been too thick. Maybe I did it too thick. I didn't thin it out enough. But overall, I'm I'm not disappointed. So it does look pretty cool. Um, the one thing I'd say that the gloss enamel has over this, or maybe again I didn't thin it out enough, is that with the gloss enamel, you can kind of see the ridges and stuff of the paint. The gloss enamel would settle after a while because it's very liquid and it because the tiles paint has auto leveling in it so it over time it just kind of sinks and it flattens out for the most part um, but this has kind of the ridges still and I think that they're going to stay there because the acrylic still has more body than the house paint would so we'll go ahead and pull this off and see what it looks like without the uh, the excess tape All right, so there it is. I'll go ahead and take my gloves off so you guys can see it. All right, so there is, here, let me switch this. This is the final piece. Now, to be honest, the design overall, I don't hate it. I, uh, I do like it. It's got kind of the waves that I technically try to achieve with the gloss enamel. So the waves are there. Um, it did make them. It's got, you know, those, those nice little wavy shapes. Um, overall, I, I do like the painting. Again, it may be a little thick, though, because it's going to have a lot of the texture on it. So I need to see how it will look when it's dry. But honestly... I think it's cool. I do like it. I don't know if I'll continue to do that um, just because 
if I'm going to be adding the pouring medium to make it thinner, I may as well just go ahead and do gloss enamel. But, uh, but yeah, I, I like the suggestion. You guys kind of saw what it looks like with the pouring medium. So again, don't hate it. And uh, I may do it again in the future. Who knows? But anyway, thanks a lot for the suggestion. Thank you for watching. And I'll catch you guys in another one. Take care. Bye, guys.